Hi, I'm Dr. Ruby and welcome to The Veggie Chest where healthy food is easy and always delicious. And today we're doing uh, one of the most protein packed, nutrient dense meals you can probably make. Uh, definitely a, a wonderful plant-based meal. We're using quinoa. Now quinoa is very popular. It's actually not a grain, it's a seed, um, but you use it just like you would rice. And we're also using kale. Now kale is one of the most nutrient dense greens there is. Um, it's got tons of calcium, phytonutrients, all types of things. Things. So we're kind of putting these two together for like really a super food dish. So we're going to start with our kale and it's just torn into bite sized pieces. So we're just going to put that right in there. Kind of mix it in with our quinoa. Now this quinoa, I used a sprouted grain quinoa. Now you can make this dish raw or cooked. Now this one I did cook, um, but I've also made it with raw where I sprouted it myself. But they also have the sprouted um, grains that you can buy in the store. So either way, you can make it completely raw or do kind of a hybrid like we're doing here today. All right, now it really gets easy from here because all you have to do is cut up a few things and put it all together. And the first ingredient is our red wine vinegar, about three tablespoons. This really adds quite a bit of flavor to this dish. Then we're gonna add our chopped scallions or the green onions. And you wanna use the green part as well as the white part of the onion. All of it's got great nutrients in it. Again, this is a very mild onion, so it's not kind of like a white onion that would give it you know, too strong of a taste. So this one kids will love too because it's not gonna be very spicy. Um, we have parsley, lots of great parsley. Adds lots of lovely flavor. Um, you'll see parsley used a lot because it adds so much flavor and nutrients at the same time. Then we have our celery. You wanna add a lot, about a cup of chopped celery. It adds a nice crunch, different textures. So this is just gonna really bump up the texture of this dish. And then, just a few more ingredients. We have our raisins, I like to use organic raisins, and um, cranberries, dried cranberries. Let's get those in there. This adds a little sweetness to it as well. And then our final crunch is going to be our sunflower seeds. Again, this adds another high dose of nutrients and protein, and it really doesn't get better than this dish in terms of the nutrients that are packed into this one dish. And you don't really don't need anything else. And then we're going to add um, some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil. And then coat that nicely. And then our final thing, our lemons, just to give it a little zest. So, and that should do it. So we are done. And this is a one dish meal um, because it's got everything you need, your greens, your whole protein grains, all of these herbs, raisins, and we're done. So I'm gonna plate this and we'll be right back. So we are back. This is nicely plated. This, this dish has so much flavor with all the cranberries and the celery. I, I think everyone will absolutely love this dish. So this is absolutely delicious. So let me know what you think. Look me up on Facebook, Twitter, leave your comments below, because I know you're gonna love it. And you can have it either way, both raw or cooked. Either way, it's gonna be delicious. So thank you for joining me on this episode of The Veggie Chest, where healthy food is easy and always delicious.